This is the Sunlight T68 from the German brand that started out as a stripped down budget version of the perhaps more prestigious Detlebs. Over the past few years, however, it started to move away from its parent company, first of all by literally moving out of the factory, but also by making van conversions and A-classes. But it's this low profile model, 2018 model, that we've come to see today here at Loudoun's, which is currently on sale for just five quid short of 50 grand. So what do you get for your money? Well, on the outside, you get nice Fiat alloy wheels in black and silver, which always look great on a motorhome. A nice garage at the back, which is accessible from both sides, which you can easily fit a couple of bicycles into, and which comes with a light and a socket. And you get a standard Fiat Ducato 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower engine. And on the inside, things are quite impressive as well. Just look, for example, at the attention to detail, considering it's supposed to be a budget van. You get a proper handle on the door, which is always a good thing in the storm-battered Britain. You get a grab handle for coming in. You get coat hooks both inside and on the door. You get a huge boot locker. And I'm particularly impressed with this pouch here for holding passports and other important documents that you can actually remove and take with you. There's a similar level of quality in the kitchen. You only get a three burner all gas hob, but it comes with these cast iron effect stands, much better than the tinny steel ones you usually have to put up with. There's a socket conveniently located for a kettle right here. And the whole area is beautifully lit with both a massive roof light, spotlights under here and ambient lights as well. The sink is a perfectly decent size too. Down below, you get that all important oven for UK buyers. And while there's no fancy pull out shelves or anything like that you might be used to from posher motorhomes, like perhaps in Detlevs itself, there's still plenty of good storage and even a little bin. Over on this side, you get a 167 litre Thetford fridge with a separate freezer, a little pan locker underneath, and a little shelf behind the TV here as well for odds and sods. At this end of the van, you have the bedding area with two fixed high single beds. I really love these beds because they're plenty big enough for me. And if you want to, you can use this pillow and the platform to make this into a really massive double. When you consider that the drop-down bed over the lounge is also over two metres long, this is really a van for tall people. Which leads me on to the shower. Now, estate agents may call this deceptively large, but in this case, it really is. I can easily stand up in there, and I like the way there's plenty of room, as you can see, for shampoos and shower gels. It's well lit too, with a roof light and two LEDs. The washroom on the other side comes with a large basin, another roof light with two LEDs, a large cupboard where you can store a huge number of perfumes and things, and there's even an easily accessible socket for a hairdryer. And if you think the area around the loo looks a bit cramped, once again, I've managed to get in there and sit down with the door closed. Unlike with some posher motorhomes, you don't get a full wooden partition to make this a central washroom, but you do at least get these curtains, which offer some privacy. The one downside here is the wardrobe beneath me. The hanging rail for it is quite some way in, and no, these slats don't raise up, which means you can't access it from up here. But that's not the only bed in here. There's also this drop-down bed. It's a manual drop-down, but those lucky enough to sleep up here get their own light. Unfortunately, because they've given so much space to the beds behind us, this bed does obscure the door to get in. Under that bed you'll find a lounge area which, like the rear bedroom, you have to step up into. Here you'll find two forward-facing travel seats, which means you can travel with four people, and a large table. The cab seats swivel around with armrests on both sides, but here you'll begin to find the first bits of cost-cutting, because you don't get cab blinds, just these curtains, which means that you can't get a full blackout at night time. There's also this comfortable fifth seat here, and you do get ambient lighting and plenty of heating vents to keep things cosy. But we were a bit surprised at the lack of main sockets up here. There's just these two USB sockets up near the front. So in the T68, you've potentially got two huge double beds, a nice comfortable lounge, a workable kitchen, and a great bathroom. If you want all that, plus solid German engineering, and a price that's still shy of 50 grand, why not put a little sunlight into your life?